the premier artsy mother daughter duo of Indian cinema, Aparna and Konkana Sen, who have made critically acclaimed films like Titli, Mr. and Mrs. Iyer, and 15 Park Avenue in the past, are back with another film, Goinar Bak Show, which means jewelry box for the non Bengali initiated. Based on a short story by popular Bengali novelist Shishendu Mukhopadhyay, the film revolves around three generations of women and also stars veteran actor Moshmi Chatterjee as, believe it or not, a ghost. Catch Shogutu Mukhopadhyay in a chat with the duo. There's already a lot of excitement over filmmaker Aparna Sen's latest release, Goinar Baksho, and I have here with me two wonderful ladies, fantastic professionals, the extremely multi-talented mother-daughter duo Aparna Sen and Konkona Sen Sharma. Thank you. Thank you for talking Thank to you. CNN and IBN. If I, if I may come to Aparna Sen to you first. Yes. You've been planning to make this film for quite some time now. I read it in 92 and uh, in a puja uh, issue and I, I love the story. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 but um, I really started toying with the idea of turning it into a screenplay and making a film around 2000 after finishing Paramita Ragdin. I finished the script in 2000. But you know, it's all happened for the best because in the interim, the uh, digital uh, technology has reached certain proportions which it didn't have then. And this being a film full of, you know, lots of magic realism, I think we needed that. So we needed to do the CG as well. Konkona, uh, this is obviously not the first time that you've uh, worked with your mother. How has the equation changed between the two of you when it comes to acting, directing, when it comes to, you know, working with your mother? You know, this is actually now the fourth time that we're working together and I, you know, feel hugely uh, privileged and blessed that I get this opportunity regularly. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and, and, think, and I think now, by now, definitely the equation has, you know, the equation has been set. But whatever little ups and downs we may have had in Mr. and Mrs. Ayyad, I don't really remember anything major, but I think it's really been ironed out over the last few years and in this film it's been, I think, particularly mostly pleasant because uh, also I have now yeah, you know, become quite protective of uh, Goinar Baksho and of Ma uh, because I wanted to I wanted to make this film, I wanted to make many more films. Right. This film in particular, I know how close it is to her heart and I know the potential of this film and it's right. just magical and hilarious and right. you know, it's uh, funny and smart and modern and all of that. Tell us a little about uh, the role that you play in this, your character, Shomla. So Shumla is a very, is a wonderful character, very, I think very different from me or any character that I have played. She's a young girl from a very, very poor family and they don't even have like, you know, proper like houses, like they're just mud houses and things and she's never really been anywhere outside of a village and she gets married to the Zamindar family who's actually now not doing so well and the family's kind of fallen into ruin. But she doesn't know, for her it's like wow. And then she marries in this family and soon after she does, the old widowed aunt who was in any case scary, dies, becomes a ghost hides her box of jewellery with her and then proceeds to terrorize her. And I'm sure that, uh, you know, uh, the way uh, Moshumi Chatterjee uh, carried the character, I'm sure you are uh, absolutely uh, satisfied yeah, yeah. with the way she, I mean. you know, Moshumi has a twinkle in her eye. She is mischievous. She has a wonderful, uh, you know, sense of comic timing. And the most important thing is that Pishima was, she was a survivor. She was a rebel. She was... She was full of life and Moshumi has that, you know, she has that, she's bubbling all the time. Right. So she's, that way she's very right for Pishima. And, and Pishima had been widowed at the age of 11. Yes. So she's really never gotten a chance to live her life. So she right. now lives her life right. and evolves as a ghost. Yes. Yes. And vicariously lives, vicariously through, lives through Shomlaka right. and then through her daughter. Right. You know, even though it is in a Bengali dialect and so on, I have personally done the entire subtitling myself, including translations of the songs, the poems, everything. There's even a, even a kind of Bangla rap which I've translated. Oh, I now, see. yeah. Yes. So I don't think I don't see this. Uh, the, uh, you know, I don't see this really as a regional film at all. Your relationship with Konkona, apart from the fact that uh, she's a daughter, the, the the professional relationship. Do you trust her inherently to play these? roles which are so very important as female. I trust her implicitly as an actor. The thing is that with Konkona you, you don't see any preparation, you know. I mean there are many actors with whom the preparation is very evident. With her it's not there. I mean it seems to be completely absent 
but somewhere inside, very instinctively, she must be preparing because when uh, you say start camera, you know, it all comes out right. All the very best to Thank both of you, you for the forthcoming release. You. Thank you for talking to CNN. Thank you so Thank much. You so much.